human capacity development has been described as a tool that can be used to re-engineer the Nigerian nation as well as diversifying its economy. It was upon the realization of this that the Senator representing Edo South Senatorial District and Chairman Senate Committee on Public Accounts, Senator Matthew Rohide, embarked on a series of empowerment programs for youths, men and women in the Senatorial District. In this news commentary, Best Mbiri of our News and Current Affairs Department takes a look at the achievement of Senator Matthew Rohide in human capacity development in the past three years in office. Details are presented by Ameza Obaisiabon. <laughs> With his promise of adding value to human life, Senator Matthew Rogide has been articulate, visible, vocal, and also very passionate about the socio-economic well-being of the people of Edo South Senatorial District. Little wonder Senator Matthew Rogide has trained over 3,800 persons in different vocations and equipping them with the necessary skills to fend for themselves. In some of the programs organized by the National Institute for Hospitality and Tourism and facilitated by the Senator, participants drawn from the seven local government areas of Edo South were trained in tour guide, packaging and event management targeted at equipping unemployed graduates with usable skills to make them self-reliant, particularly as tourism now constitutes about 6% of the world grass domestic product. I'm so grateful for the opportunity given to us by Senator Matthew Oide, a wise person that has participated in this training, who go back to the drawing board and do something with it. I'm short of words. And for them to match up their words with action by giving us the machines and the 100,000 I say thank you. Thank you to the organizers and thank you to God. I want to use the opportunity to thank the distinguished Senator Matthew Rogide for bringing this to our doorstep. Although I've always looked forward to hearing something like this, I've not had the time or the opportunity, but when I heard about this, I came and so far I've learned a lot. I want to thank Senator Matthew Rogide for organizing this program. What we have learned today is a livelihood to any same graduate. The Director General, National Institute for Hospitality and Tourism, Chika Balogun, and the Edo State Commissioner for Arts, Culture, Tourism and Diaspora Affairs, Usaze Usemigeu, at the different training programs, eulogize Senator Rogidi for ensuring that the people of Edo South have means of livelihood, particularly in this era where white color jobs are scarce. Human capacity development remains the key to finding and creating productive jobs for such an emerging population. The global impact of a skills gap in tourism is estimated to cost the global economy about 14 million jobs annually and 630 billion US dollars in gross domestic losses. For this training, you know, for the past one week and what they are getting here today is something that you cannot, uh, you know, really quantify in terms of, um, you know, wealth. Obviously not tired of extending helping hands to the people, Senator Rogidi, through the Office of the Federal Research Institute of Nigeria and PRODA, trained 210 persons on technology entrepreneurship in machine maintenance, skill acquisition and vocational training for the production of domestic products such as liquid soap, perfumes, antiseptic, air freshener, body cream and odor control while others were trained in agroforestry. After the training, which lasted three days, Senator Orugide disbursed over 10 million naira as each participant went home with 50,000 naira. I really need to say a very big thank you to Senator Matthew Orugide, who is the facilitator of this program. I want to thank uh, Senator Matthew Orugide for this wonderful initiative to help to train youth, especially in different areas. If we have people like 
Senator Roide, more than one of them in this town, you see, life will be more easier for us. I was trained in agroforestry. Thank you to Senator Matthew Oride. May God continue to bless you. I'm actually 50,000 naira richer and I'm self-established and I'm going to do my business as planned. I have learned that instead of you sitting and waiting for white collar jobs, you can get yourself employed. And I also learned Abba Mercy. How I can take care of somebody with a heart problem. I learned it in this program. Senator Rogide said his promise to continually empower the people of Edo South as long as he remains a senator is unwavering as he will in no distant time roll out another event for the benefit of the people of the senator district. The reason why I'm doing this is not because of politics, because I believe I should be part of the lives of our young people who are not here for a day. This is the way I define empowerment. By the grace of God, as long as I remain a senator, that you are voted for, I keep treating you people. Everybody is here. You are in Yoruba, you are Igbo, you are anything, you are in my district. What I do for the Bidima, I do for the Isha, I do for empowerment. The empowerment of about 4,000 persons and other achievements is attributed to reasons why Senator Rugide was rewarded with an automatic ticket by the PDP to be contest for same position in 2019, a development that has never happened in the history of Edo South Senator District. Distinguished Senator Rogidi may not have empowered all the youths in Edo South, but a good number of people have directly or indirectly benefited from the quality representation of Senator Rogidi in the past three years. And many more will still stand to gain from Senator Rogidi if the people of Edo South renew his mandate. That news commentary on human capacity building facilitated by Senator Matthew Wahide was written by Best Bureau for our News and Current Affairs Department and presented by Amesa Obaisabu.